Hello everyone and welcome to my Modern Pot Analysis videos on Monday 28th of January with me Richard Pro Market Analyst at Hansip Markets. We've got a fairly settled market outlook today, nothing too decisive in terms of direction, a little bit of sterling weakness that's uh, come um, basically just as an unwinding move, the huge gains that we saw uh, back end of last week. Um, we've seen gold consolidating. This is key. Gold consolidating around 1300. Now 13, sorry, 1298 was the key breakout point. Now that puts you into the key pivot area, 1300 to 1310, worth watching on gold. Euro dollar rallied sharply on Friday, back to 1420. 1420 being a key near-term pivot. So um, this is very interesting times on some of these markets that we're looking at. Look at um, treasury yields hit that 2.8% barrier last week and just dropped away a bit. So again, that's a key pivot overhead, that 2.8% uh, area um, old floor becomes new resistance uh, on those treasury yields. So uh, that's what we're seeing today. A little bit of an unwinding move actually on oil. Uh, oil, you saw the um, US rig count in the, uh, in the Baker Hughes data uh, on Friday rising by 10 rigs. Um, that's the first rise we've seen this year and uh, subsequently we've seen the oil price just ticking a shade lower on the back of that. But generally speaking, we're still consolidating on oil. Now, one of the key factors um, behind uh, dollar weakness in the last couple of sessions has been this uh, Chinese Yuan strengthening coming through again and that's coming as uh, volatilities fallen back again on equities that sort of helps to drive improved risk appetite again the dollar is seen as a safe haven play and uh, that's helped to drive that dollar corrective move that we saw on Friday big sharp move to the downside on a Friday on that dollar index so um, in terms of data to look out for today, there's n there isn't really anything to watch, uh, really to uh, uh, show much movement as far as I can see. Um, now, with the US government reopening, there could be uh, something to watch out for in terms of the US durable goods. Sorry, that's the wrong page. US durable goods, which I've got on my Reuters data here as coming through this <laughs> afternoon. So maybe that could be seen. But again, with the US government shut down, uh, only just coming to an end temporarily, that may not necessarily come through. So I'm not sure about that. But anyway, um, apart from that, we've got Mara Draghi at two o'clock who testifies before the EU parliament. And that could have an impact, uh, certainly on the euro, uh, as he talks about euro uh, ECB policy. Now my chart today is Euro Sterling. Sharp move to the downside in Euro Sterling in the last past couple of weeks. 86.20, actually a low of 86.15, but let me show you the importance of 86.20. Look at that as a support, huge support, dating back to May 2017. So that is a big, big floor. Now what we've seen is this range play um, forming over the past sort of 18 months or so. Interesting that as the uh, RSI gets to 30, uh, or just a shade under 30, once it uh, sort of recovers, it starts to form a, reco um, a recovery within the, the range. So the, the fact that the RSI hit 27, 26, 27 on Friday, and then started to bounce back a little bit, it means that this pivot area overhead, this old area of support between 86.90, 80, 87.20, which has capped lows time and time and time again, that becomes resistance. So how the market responds in that area, if it does start to uh, rally, will be crucial, I think, because we could start to see um, that becoming an area of overhead resistance. If that is seen as resistance, then again, this little rally is likely to be sold into and um, the, uh, you could see that 86.20 floor coming under increasing um, test. So this is a key moment for the outlook on a medium to longer term basis on Euro sterling. And it all certainly plays into the politics of Brexit. Um, so uh, that's one of the reasons why we've seen such a sharp move to the downside is that uh, the UK Parliament is sort of trying to manoeuvre towards a softer version of Brexit or certainly a less hard version of Brexit possible. So uh, that's seemingly why sterling has been so strong. And uh, if that continues, then we could see that little recovery that we've got playing out today. Fine resistance at 86.90, 87.20, and then fall over. Now, as I said, 86.20, 
is a key area of support. I had a breakdown below that and you're looking at a big move possibly to continue to the downside back towards uh, sort of 80, uh, 85, maybe 84, 83. So with that in mind, I wish you good luck in your trading today and I'll speak to you later.